Hey, hey, hey. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. Now go and get the clap. Now pop it for a player. Pop, pop it for me. What? Turn around and drop it for a player. Drop, drop it for me. Hey, yeah, why y'all doing? Do y'all see my hair? Do it look like I should be on camera? But I am. <laughs> well, y'all. Who's up? So I'm cooking. I had to take a nap. Take a power nap on Sundays. And they be watching sports and stuff. Uh, football start by four. I take power nap by four thirty. I was late today, so I'm late cooking. But I'm making spaghetti. I'm gonna do some corn on the cob for the people, and I'm gonna fry some chicken thighs. The boy don't like spaghetti sauce, so just naked noodles and corn sound a little bit bad. Plus, DC Kool Aid. Say hi. Hi. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> so I'm turn around. So I'm turn. Hold on, y'all. I'm about to get the camera. Give me camera, baby. Give me camera, baby. Nope. You camera, baby. Come on, give me camera. See, <laughs> baby. She don't want y'all to see this work your progress. This 1974. Why are you following me? <laughs> why are you following she don't want y'all to see this 1974 she got going on right here. I don't know why she backing up. Give me camera. No. Nope. Yeah, camera. We we are taking our tree down this week. <laughs> so don't. Uh -uh, don't listen to anything she has to say until she turns the camera around. <laughs> why is she following me? Give me camera. Give me camera. No. She put a hat on, y'all. Brush my hair, but she put a hat on. But I'm gonna show y'all. We'll snatch that hat off. No, you're not. Sam. All right. Oh, so. <laughs> All right. So I'm just letting a little bit more of this. Did the ghost push that down? I don't know. I'm just letting a little bit more of this um moisture cook out before I put the spaghetti sauce in there. So I'm gonna drop it down. And what did you put in there, babe? Mm -hmm. You put meat. Oh, um, yeah, meat and green peppers, green pepper, celery, and onions have a good flavor. However, they're not good for us, so I use dried onions instead of raw onions, which is just better for you. Especially if you get heartburn. If you eat onions a lot and get heartburn a lot, and don't know why you're getting heartburn. Cut down on your onions. Now you want to get all the sauce out, plus you're going to want to add a little water to it. So the best way to do that is, so you just don't add naked water to your sauce. Rinse out your bottle. Get all the sauce, get all the flavor, plus you thin your sauce out a little bit. Alright, I'm just using Ragu 6 cheese. You can use any spaghetti sauce that you like. If you want to create your own, all you need is some... Um, Tomato paste, probably some stewed tomatoes, and then season it the way you want to. But if you're going quick, just get whatever flavor sauce you like. We haven't had ragu. That's the one we're using today. And then that's just going to cook. Now, you want to always add your own seasoning to... Go in the Latin section or the Hispanic section at your grocery store. Badia is the brand. They have all kinds of stuff. That's the one that had the orange pepper that I was telling y'all about. So, um, use things that don't have salt added so that you can know how much salt you're putting in the stuff. I put the onions in the beef. Put some of the onions in the sauce. Just dried onions. Any I'm going to do. This is good. This is also in that section. You add it, you want to add it to brown sauces. I wouldn't suggest adding it to white sauces. But it just gives another depth of flavor. It's not like Worcestershire sauce. But it just gives you another layer of flavor on your food. A little basil. I don't like basil on its own. But a little dry basil in your spaghetti sauce is a beast. I already put uh, cayenne pepper in there. I'm not going to put any more of that in there. Uh. A little onion powder to back it up, to boost it up. None of these have salt added, but I've added so far. None of them have salt added. Now, I got this at our new favorite place. 
and it's like a mixture but it has a little cinnamon and a little nutmeg in it and surprisingly cinnamon and nutmeg go excellent in your spaghetti sauce you want that other little layer of flavor mix all that up and you just let it cook now I'm gonna let that cook while the chicken thighs cook I'm just gonna bread them normally just flour seasoned flour and let them cook let them be good and crispy on the outside then I'll make the noodles and that's dinner turn your hat around babe turn the camera around Should I say hi to everybody we'll say hi to them Say hi, everybody. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Say hi. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Say hey. What's up? <laughs> Say hey, baby. Say <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> oh, you turned it. All right, guys. I'm just going to rinse this chicken off. It's two schools of rinsing off chicken. You should. You shouldn't. It's supposed to be clean when it comes to the place. But I was raised that you do not just put naked chicken out of a pack. So I'm going to rinse it off. I ain't killed nobody yet, so we're doing all right. Um, so, best way to shake them up is to grab some of them bags that you come from the store. You're going to throw it away anyway. And then here, you just use whatever seasoning you like. I'm always going to do salt. I'm always going to do salt, pepper. And paprika, I use smoked paprika. I just like it better. And the same seasoning, and I use a little um, use a little of this. It's um, it's like chicken base, chicken bouillon. I use a little bit of that in the cover, in the case, in the crust, not the case. garlic, pepper, onion, paprika, and I'm using pink Himalayan sea salt. I don't really just use a lot of just white salt. You gotta use salt. Your food won't taste good without it. But there's so many different salts out there now. You don't just have to use the old Morden salt anymore. Some of them have a good... Some of them are good for you, actually. In moderation everything is good for you in moderation and everything sucks for you when you do a lot of it so that's just how the world is so let me throw a little season on the chicken so like I said the same stuff I put in there I'm gonna put in the chicken and then I'm gonna put the chicken in the bag hands when you're doing stuff like this because the reality is you can always wash your hands kids but you got to make sure that it's enough stuff all right so I had to wash my hand before I touch the bag when you're doing chicken even if you're at home it's always better wash your hands after you get through Make sure you touch it once so you ain't got to touch it naked like that again. Now, a lot of people don't like, um, a lot of people don't like breast chicken because it's dry. So I'm using boneless, skinless thigh, but you can still fry it. Don't have to have the skin on it to fry it like chip fried chicken. So, just waiting on my oil. If you want to know how, if your oil is hot enough, just put your hand on top of it like that. Don't put your hand in it, just on top of it. And if you can't feel it, it's not ready. You don't want to put your chicken in the oil before it gets hot because your chicken be greasy. So you don't want to do that. So, we'll be back, waiting on the oil. All right, you can do this. So you're back. You can do that. And we're back. So, you want to make sure if you drop water in it, the water will bounce on it. If you do that. When you get ready to put your first piece in, let the flour hit it. The flour sizzles, it's ready to go. 
I always start on the back side first or the top or whatever. Grease down a little bit and just let it be. Let it be. Just <laughs> don't touch it. Just give it a while to cook. Eight minutes on each side, and it should be done. It shouldn't be burned. If it's burning, your grease is up too high. So just let the spaghetti sauce cook. And some red pepper. No, you don't need no more red pepper. I put that on my. I put some in there. Maybe that's flour. Mm -hmm. I'm messing with you. That's a lot of sugar. You said a lot of sugar. I didn't say a lot. You did the last time. <laughs> now she's telling the story. Now, sugar cuts on this um, tomato sauce thing. Okay. Hmm? Screw that. You gotta blow some more. Baby, it's a little bit. What you like? What you need? I don't know. I don't think nothing. I need some noodles. Look at my face. I'm asking you about this sauce. I need some noodles. How does the sauce taste? It tastes all right. All right, it's not the word. I have to eat it with sauce and noodles. I don't like cooking with a electric stove because this middle part will be super hot and it'll burn right there so that's why I move that back but we're gonna let that cook this water is gonna boil for the noodles and we do that all right guys so we're back I'm flipping them I took them out of the middle because they're burn right there so I'm gonna turn down just a little bit more make sure it's cooked all the way through keep a crispy crust let me put the noodles in spaghetti sauce is saucing on up here Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. All right, what are the noodles? Are? What's that? Some cereal. What cereal? <laughs> what cereal is it on the list? All right, whole wheat pasta takes longer to cook than the regular pasta does. salt in the water of your pasta sauce your pasta not salt you gotta salt the water on your pasta you don't have to put oil or anything in there but you do have to salt the water on your pasta so we're gonna get that water back up to boiling let this finish chicken finish cooking and that will be it for Sunday dinner and we'll be back what you gonna say babe I didn't know you got to be caught in that. I hope I would. Yes. Uh. <laughs> it's your turn. Talk. What's up, my bomb squad? This is DC Kool Aid. And um, sorry about the TV in the background, but we were watching um, my second team. They won today. That's my second team, the Saints. Only reason because my family from down south. I don't know why she. she because she got this tripod. Hey, you making on. people dizzy. They got right, go to um, Call Me Cop. <laughs> Spaghetti and some chicken. So that's what it looked like. Sunday dinner. We there wanted to do something different. So I'm about to eat y'all. Alright, so we're gonna close this out. 
right. and I'm back how y'all doing so that's Sunday dinner that's quick that's easy some people always do spaghetti and then just don't have a meat but we decided to have a meat because one Nick is not a big spaghetti sauce person and two sometimes you just need a full meal so don't forget if you want to make your own spaghetti sauce you can but you don't have to um if you don't like breasts skinless boneless thighs are good too Mm -hmm. And I'm not looking at that. I'm trying to talk to people. And she's just, she's supposed to be eating. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm going to cook something else later. I'm going to go back to cooking. I'm going to try to do these videos at least once a week, y'all. So if you got any comments for me, hit them down below for me. Let me know what you want me to see you make. Um, if there's questions you want, if I don't know the answer, I'll look them up and we can do them together. So hit that like button if you already haven't hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right now. Thank you for that like. Comment down below if you want to see something else. If you like it, what you saw. If you want to know how I made it. If you didn't like it. Whatever. I want to hear all the comments. Share this video. Because maybe somebody else needs to know that Sunday dinner don't have to take forever to cook. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. So you can watch me do this all the time. So this is your girl Lisa. Love y'all bomb squad. Thank y'all for joining me. Sunday dinner is in the books. We out. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DC Kool Aid and Lisa doing challenge on your head top. Yeah, you know what's happening when you tune in. Story times, pranks, and vlogging, man. We a great big family, we the bomb squad. We on that grind to a number with a K. Best believe you'll stay. You can chill with the fam like most of y'all do. DC Kool Aid, Lisa, and Nick too. With Charles and Barbie living that YouTube life. We love our fans and supporters, we a family dude. So come on down to Bomb Squad Town. Have a seat watching videos. And nobody likes to hate. Keep it positive and have a nice day. Oh, I forgot. Smash that like button. That like Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. Hey!